for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and Round one. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, lands that punch. That one hurt. See, it's not just his speed, it's speed with proper technique. And that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous. And an arsenal of information when it comes to movement. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. He got tagged there. Goes for a single. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Caught him with a punch. First takedown attempt is there. Sweet reversal. Hammer fists blocked. Side control. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. And he's trying to pass. Joe doing a nice job here staying busy from the bottom. from side control. He's back to full mount again. That landed. Goes upstairs for an elbow. He's getting off some very nice ground and pound here. Oh, he landed a right hand. He is bleeding from his eyebrow, Joe. That shot cut him. Big oh, elbow beautiful there, elbow. Wow. Tremendous TKO, great stoppage by the referee. Yeah, you're right, Joe. It was that one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately opened up an opportunity for him to force the referee stoppage in this fight. He was flurrying. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here's where the ref called it. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! So there he is, your winner by TKO here tonight, and the celebration is on with